Boneheads. Thanks for checking out another recipe. Today we're doing one of my favorites and we're gonna keep it super simple. We are doing barbecue pulled duck in the crock pot. You can do this a couple different ways. Today we're doing the low and slow method. We're gonna crank this thing on low, let it go for about eight hours. I'm getting ready to head out the door and go to work. So when I come back, this house is gonna smell so good. I'm gonna have a hot meal just waiting for me. Um, another reason that you can go, if you wanna go the fast method, you come home from a morning hunt. Let's say you go out on a Saturday morning, get your limited ducks, you want to sit and watch football, take it easy, you can put this in the crock pot, crank it on high, and you've got a delicious meal in a few hours. So um, it's September here in Nebraska. This is coming from a teal hunt we did just a couple, uh, a couple days ago. So I've got my limit. We're going to have 12 uh, teal breasts going in the crock pot here. Check it out. Okay, start off by adding some fresh sliced onion to the bottom of that crock pot. I like a little heat, so I'm going to puncture a jalapeno and throw that in there for good measure. Dry off your teal breast, get as much silver skin off as you can, and then hit it with some of your favorite barbecue rub. I use these little bottles of apple juice. Start with one bottle to get the bottom, and then go ahead and add all that teal breast in. Once you've got your meat in, I like some fresh garlic. Go ahead and spread that in there before topping with onions. And then we're going to use a second bottle of that apple juice to get a little bit more liquid in there. Hit it with your favorite rub, put the lid on, turn this thing on slow, and you're ready to go. Look at that. Guys, I wasn't kidding about how good this house is going to smell. That was a that was an understatement because it smells great in here. Everything's cooked pretty pretty well. I can barely pull this duck up. See, it just starts breaking apart. So we're gonna we're gonna drain this. You want to hang on to the liquid and then the meat and get rid of everything else. And we'll pick it back up here in just a couple minutes. <laughs> All right, now drain that. All you're gonna save is the meat and the liquid. You can throw everything out. Once you get your meat in a bowl, it will not be hard to get this stuff shredded. It's super tender. It'll come apart real easy. And then when you add this liquid back in, a good rule of thumb is that as long as the meat's absorbing it, keep adding the liquid. When it starts to pool at the bottom, that's when you've added enough. Now throw some of your favorite barbecue sauce on there, give it a good stir, and then I like to heat this up in the crock pot for about 30 minutes to an hour. Let it simmer, let it absorb all those flavors, all that liquid, trust me, you are gonna wanna dig into this. All right, time for the best part, build that sandwich. For me, it starts with some of our homemade jalapeno pickles, and then a good hearty helping of that tender, succulent, barbecue pulled duck. I like to top it off with a little bit of barbecue sauce and then I'm ready to dig in. But feel free to add your favorite toppings. Just check out how good that meat looks. All right, guys, we let this simmer in the sauce for about an hour. The house smells amazing. This looks amazing. Only one thing left to do. That doesn't suck. That's delicious. Great, simple recipe. It's not gamey, it's super tender. It's so easy, throw it in there. You can wait a few hours if you do it on high or let it go all day if you do it on low. That's a home run, boys. We'll see you next time. Cheers, boneheads.